Hello everyone. So today this video is really not about exploitation or digital forensics and incident response. It's about using a tool which in my opinion is very important whether you use a Windows version or a Linux version or whatever. Uh, it's very important that sometimes you want to transfer a file or you want to transfer some content maybe between you and a client, maybe between you and your partner working on some project. So you want to pass some information, but you don't want to just pass it like using an unsecured channel. So the best way to do that is using asymmetric uh, cryptography. I'm not going to go into the details of asymmetric uh, cryptography. That's not the goal of this video. The goal of this video is just how to use this basic tool, which is GPG for win, okay? And how to uh, like, import a key which you might have been received you might have received from your partner or from your client or maybe you downloaded it from a person you want to email them securely from their website many or even from their their signature many times people will share their keys either through email their signature through a website or maybe they send it to you or sometimes they will also uh, have it uploaded to a key server which is not going to be explained in this video the basics is what I'm going to explain here, how to download the tool, install it, create a key, import a key, and then securely send a message to your partner. So let's just download the, the tool. And sorry, GPG win guys, I'm just going to use this for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to not going to be really de uh, donating anything here. So if we now install it, install okay. okay next I'm going to install the GPA assistant which is GNU privacy assistant okay next install it's really not going to take a lot of time okay and it's uh, by the way it's like a uh, on Linux, you have the you can use from the command line. There is also the GPA is also available on Linux, but it's up to you what you want to use. I'm not gonna run uh, Cleopatra. I'm not gonna use that. I use the I'm gonna use the GPA. I think it's very easy to use, very easy to use tool. So if you just double click on it, you'll get this window and saying that you don't have any private key yet. That's true because we haven't created one. So let's generate a key now. Click on this. Now let's uh, add our username, our name, like uh, here, I'm going to go with John Doe, okay, for this demonstration. I'm going to go also with jdoe at uh, mydomain.com. You'll just need to replace that with your, uh, with the email, your email address forward. I'm going to create a backup key, a backup of my, my key. You need a passphrase, so make sure you create a passphrase, okay. It should be a... Uh, it should be like a, a good passphrase. It's a minimum of eight keys or eight characters, I mean. But I would recommend adding a good passphrase for your key because if uh, someone may, may manages to access your key, they can, and your keys, your passphrase is weak, then they could probably then finally access the key and then uh, you no longer can send the secret messages because someone else has access to it also. So. I'm going to store the key over here on my documents, asking me for the passphrase. This is, by the way, I'm um, just using a basic, I would say, uh, passphrase for demonstration purposes. But for you, again, make sure you use minimum of eight characters and use a good passphrase uh, key. It's telling you that the key has been stored at this location or this, sorry, this is the location of your uh, sec secret key. This is the one that you need to make sure it uh, does not get access by someone else because anyone who has access to this key can decrypt those secret messages. So close, all good. So now what we need to do is we need to go to keys or you can just go from here. So you can go to keys and import keys or you can just click this one import and we want to import the key which we have in, I've already downloaded again. Uh, I've already downloaded this key from the person who I want to email, okay, so it's key.jpg. It could be any name, by the way. I just named it that way. 
so it's telling you we imported one key successful okay one public key and you can see here the name of the key is alihadi dfir proton mail.com and you can see even when this key was actually created because that's i just created the key now for uh, the this demonstration purposes so now let's say you want to send a secret message with some information so let's say what did i do hello ali uh, i'm sending sending you the uh, let's say project information below and then let's say username you say uh, abc then password you say my secret uh, password any password this is really just demo there's no really system or something here and then uh, thank you and then i would say john john okay or john do if you want so now all i need to do is i either go to file and then encrypt or you can just immediately click on this one encrypt and now you need to select which key do you want to use for the encryption so i let's say i use this one and say okay and it's telling you are you sure that this key belongs to Ali Hadi at this this guy. So uh, do you are you certain that the key belongs to that person? And if you really know, then you say yes. If you don't, then you'll say no. So in our case, it's demonstration purposes. So this is the encrypted message. Let's go and send it through uh, Control C. So if we do that and then we say submit, and now we can like uh, view paste here. You can see the paste just see that so if i go to Control c and i copy this because this is where i need to go to on my other system okay so if i go to my other system and i go to let's say over here Control c right that's what it was called uh, i keep forgetting Control c.com okay and then it's 4e5 let me just write that down it's uh, control C, then four E five, and then A nine zero E nine. Okay, so control C dot com. So if we go back here, let's do control C dot com. Okay, let's go here, and then if we go to the what was it called 4e 5a 90c9 you will be usually sending this in an email probably but let's say i'm gonna do it this way so and not this is my public key so let's say i create a notepad with the info or actually you don't even need notepad actually let's get the clipboard sorry let's get the clipboard and just paste it over here and let's say decrypt the, decrypt the message so it's telling you please enter the passphrase to unlock uh, this uh, this key so all we need to do now is enter the passphrase for this key okay click ok and we got that message so we managed to securely send the message from this system okay from oh sorry from this system this guy which is John Doe John Doe managed to securely send this message send a message from uh, his system to Ali Hadi on Ali is other system and now we can read that message now even even though by the way you might say uh, yeah but this is publicly available so anyone can now access this the answer is true anyone can access this but without the private key of Ali Hadi you will not be able to decrypt this message okay so uh, that was it for this video. I hope you now understand how to use this tool. It's a really easy to install, easy to use tool. And I highly recommend you use it for sending, uh, let's say, uh, sensitive information, whether that's an email, whether that's a file, I will highly recommend you use uh, GPG for doing that, okay? That's it for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me uh, let me know or send me a question. Uh, thank you and see you in, in the next video, which we will go back to our other 
uh, series of uh, videos about exploitation. Thank you and uh, bye-bye.